Now, let us clearly discuss about what is this grammar. What is this terminology grammar speaks about? See, it's very simple. Grammar is nothing but the word which speaks about the structure of any language. Yes, learning about structure of any language is nothing but a grammar. Grammar is not just related to English. It is just an English word but not related only to English. It is related to any language. So grammar speaks about the structure of language. I believe now you know the importance of grammar. It's very simple. The bottom line is very, very simple. If you learn grammar, you will automatically know the structure of that language. If you know the structure of that language, you know how to use, how to arrange the words into sentences and how to bring these sentences into your conversations. So for this particular sake, we need grammar. So yes, of course, the concept of grammar is very, very important for learning and speaking any language. And now, see grammar, coming to grammar, I would like to divide this particular grammar in this modern days into two divisions. The very first one is the traditional grammar and the second one is the modern communicative grammar. What? Traditional grammar. Fine, let me explain it. It is very simple. The traditional grammar is nothing but what you have been learning from your childhood in your English books. For example, parts of speech, tenses, active voice, passive voice, direct speech and direct speech, antonyms, synonyms, oh my goodness, the list goes beyond uh, this episode. So that let us stop here itself. Yes, all these things, what you have been learning, what we have been learning from our textbooks, that is nothing but the traditional grammar. And now let's come to this modern communicative grammar. So what is this modern communicative grammar? The grammar, I mean the structure of a language, what is needed for the purpose of communication, for the purpose of conversations. So that particular thing I name it as the modern communicative grammar. So now the title what I have given RIP to grammar. I would like to refer only for the first one. Yes. Now I'm making it very clear. My statement is very clear. So R I P to this traditional grammar, but not to the modern communicative grammar. I'll explain you why. Here for my gentle friends who are having interest to live to develop their communicative uh, skills, communication skills. So when you want to develop your communication skills, particularly when you want to develop your language and very, very particularly when you want to develop language international like English, you should not have your conscious mind on the traditional grammar. When you are very, very conscious about the traditional grammar, definitely your unconscious brain, it doesn't work properly and it says you are in a phobia of speaking that particular language. So it doesn't happen at all. For that sake, please don't be conscious about the first thing what I have told, the traditional grammar. That is, in these days, that is useful only for the purpose of cracking the competitive exams, but not for any other thing. We will discuss about that also in future because of a lot of requests from my gentle friends. And now, yes, the very modern communicative grammar, which is very, very important to develop the conversations, to develop the communication skills. So for example, if you ask me, do you know grammar, I can very proudly and confidently say I am not very particular about this traditional grammar, but still that is needed for me for teaching purpose, but not for the communicative purpose. So I have learned this traditional grammar because I am a teacher as well as I am a communicative designer. So I initially started my profession as a teacher in English so that it was very important for me to learn this, but this particular thing only gave me the confidence to spread the fragrance of communication skills. Simple example, my dear gentle friends, this modern communicative grammar gave me the confidence to do these videos. So I strongly believe, my heart strongly says that modern communicative grammar is more important than the traditional grammar for your communication skills. So. From our next episode onwards, we are going to discuss in detail about the modern communicative grammar. What are the things, how to learn that and how to communicate by knowing the structure of this modern communicative grammar. So for that, what you have to do? You have to 
wait patiently for the next video don't worry i'll not test your patience by this time uh, i probably i'll be doing the video within one or two days and you can crack down what is the modern communicative grammar and a small request what i do every what i do in my every episode the thing is supporters to support you so what you have to do share it spread the fragrance of communicative skills and ask your friends to subscribe and also like the video thank you very much that's all about today's episode see you in my next episode